Hello everyone. Today we're going to be kicking off a series I want to be working on throughout this year on not only coal but other minerals that occur in Pennsylvania. So on the page we cover a lot of abandoned mines that involve coal. Pennsylvania has a lot of. Uh, got absolutely immense bituminous coal reserves, some of the largest anthracite reserves in the world. Um, so there's a lot of mines involved with those, but I want to split off, cover some other minerals, and we're going to do other videos on site covering those minerals as well. But I just want to kind of do an introduction video, um, let everyone know what we're doing. So like I said, Pennsylvania has immense coal reserves. Um, one of those coals being bituminous. I'll explain the gloves in a minute. This is a piece of bituminous coal. Camera's going to focus, I promise. Out of the Barkley Field, Bradford County. Um, this is what's known as your soft coal. Have our semi anthracite. This piece here is out of the Burnus Field, Sullivan County. So this is one step up from our bituminous. And then Pennsylvania also has our anthracite, which I don't have a piece of at the moment. Shame on me. But besides that, Pennsylvania also has, we have, this is iron ore. This is a piece of what's known as the Danville block ore. They also had a fossil ore there as well. Uh, but iron ore was mined throughout the state. This is a piece of iron pyrite. Kind of hard to see with this. But this really had no economic value, but it's a mineral that occurs a lot throughout Pennsylvania, um, especially in the coal regions. Some lesser known minerals. This is malachite, which is a copper ore. This piece here is from Sullivan County. This also occurs in a few other spots in the state. We're going to cover those as well. So here's another piece. It's mostly malachite. It's going to be kind of hard to see in the video, but there's some darker blue areas throughout here. That's azurite. That's also a copper ore. And then, last piece we have on the table today, starting off the Geiger counter. See our background, it's coming up here. But as I move this Geiger counter closer to our last piece, notice that that goes way up. Stand here. See, we're at 14,000 counts per minute. Varying a little bit, dropping down to 11, back up 13. Piece that I have there is a piece of uranium ore with carnitite on it. Um, that's the reason of the gloves. It's not only the radioactivity, but that it's also toxic. As you can see, some spots here, camera can focus, there's some tints of yellow to this, a little bit hard to see in this light. But that yellow is carnitite, it may have been on some of the pieces that fell off, that yellow is carnitite. So that's a uranium ore. Uranium ore was mined in several spots in Pennsylvania. Um, both commercially and on the exploration side of things. Um, some spots hot, had it but wasn't really at an economic value at the time uh, to justify further mining. But 
In this series, we're also going to be covering other minerals besides what I have on the table today. I want to be covering uh, you know, everything from limestone to what we have here. Um, maybe even get into just some aggregates and some of the aluminum clays that were mined. But I want to try to cover as many minerals um, that Pennsylvania has to offer. And so for each of these today, like I said, we're going to be going and we're going to do an on-site uh, video covering each one in a little bit more detail. Um, the formation, how much was mined, and different details like that. So I'm looking forward uh, to this series, and I hope you guys are as well. Um, and like I said, more videos will be, uh, will be following this one. We'll go ahead and get this kicked off. I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this, also check us out on YouTube. Also have Instagram now, uh, Band of Minds PA, and check us out there as well. Uh, appreciate everybody for the support, and I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you.